you know what's gonna happen? You done all this already? As me? I don't want to talk about time travel. Because if we start talking about it, then we're gonna be here all day talking about it, making diagrams with straws. We both know how this has to go down. I can't let you walk away from this diner alive. This is my life now. I earned it. You had yours already. So why don't you do what old men do and die? Why don't you just take your little gun out of between your legs and do it? Boy. Uh, there are two, I think, challenges in this movie for you as a performer. First is, you've been altered, subtly. And it's one of those things that, uh, as an audience member who knows you and who also knows young Bruce Willis, it takes a little while to kind of get your head around what you're looking at. For you, the first time they put it on, what was that for you? What was that like? And to get used to performing through a slightly different face. Yeah, well, it was key, really. I, I mean, I'd been thinking about this story and this character for a really long time leading up to shooting it. But it honestly wasn't until, you know, a, what, a week before we really started principal photography when we really had the final makeup test. I could look at myself in the mirror with everything, the contact lenses, everything, that I felt like I found him, you know? It's like, ah, okay, ah, right, okay, I get who this guy is now. And um, yeah, it changes things when you have a different face. <laughs> and you also have Bruce to bounce off of, and you really just have that one great scene in the diner where it is one man at opposite ends of a, a life arguing with himself. Mm -hmm. What did Bruce bring into that scene? Because I, I, there's such an alpha male thing going on there. Yeah, well, I, I, I think there's, there's no substitute for age. And uh, th there was a conversation that Ryan and I had long ago um, when he was telling me about the idea for the movie, where I was like, yeah, I could play the older and the younger guy. You could do it with makeup, and I could do it. And uh, he felt strongly that it needed to be another actor, and I'm so glad that, uh, I, that, that he decided that. And um, I completely agree with him, because I don't think any actor, no matter how good they are. A young man, there's just something you haven't earned yet. Yeah. And, uh, and Bruce has <laughs> earned that. And, yeah, and he I, has it. He doesn't have to prove it. He doesn't have to flaunt it. He just has it and you know it instantly. And, um, and I think that's a big part of what's so good about that scene. When he drops the word boy, yeah. <laughs> man, there's weight behind that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> there is something else. Yeah. I gotta talk to you about your work with Pierce in the film. Yeah. Um, what a great kid. Yeah. What an amazing find. Yeah. And the stuff he's asked to do is so heavy. You're right. Um, how do you guys, in, in terms of prepping a scene with him, for, for some of those conversations, what was your, your process with him? Well, he's just a fantastic actor. And um, I just, I, I didn't really treat him like a kid. I just treated him like another actor that I was working with. Because I remember, because I worked as an actor sure. when I was his age. He, he was five when we shot Looper, and I started working as an actor when I was six. So I remember what it was like, and I remember always really appreciating it when people didn't talk down to me like a child. And so I, I tried to make it a point to not do that and, and to just work with them like I would work with any other actor, and, and a talented one to boot. He's, he's a really fine artist, he is. And um, I know that might sound funny because he's so young, but I, I'm of the opinion that... Oh, I think it reads in the work. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and so much kids, subtlety. kids have as much capability, if not more, than older people, uh, to especially as actors, because actor acting is really about playing pretend. You know, it's about kind of getting into that uninhibited place where you're not so attached to your identity and you know the things that you think define you. Um, and when you're a kid, it's it's sometimes easier to let go of those things and become somebody else.